guys. I uh, just wanted to mention in a video something I haven't talked about before and that's the unfulfilled prophecies of Moses. Now the first one being is when Moses got commissioned um, at, the, at the burning bush. Um, he, he said, you know, God, please send someone else. Um, you know, when I go to the Israelites and say the God of their fathers has sent me to them, they're not going to believe me and they're going to ask what is his name and God replied I am that I am tell the children of Israel I am has sent me to you so God says when when you go as a prophet of God to my people Israel the 12 tribes that they're going to ask you or Moses, sorry, he said that they'll ask me what is your name. God didn't turn around and say, no, they're not going to ask you. He says, tell them I am has sent me to you. Well, here's the thing is that never happened. You know, that never happened. And, you know, is God just made a mistake? He doesn't make mistakes. But the, the meaning of this, I, I believe, is that when the two witnesses come, like unto Moses, like unto Elijah, These be two human, mortal, anointed beings, which is uh, olive, like olive oil for anointing trees, living beings. Two anointed living beings, and are going to get given the two candlesticks of God. There's seven candlesticks to God's spirit. And um, one was given to Moses, one was given to Elijah, and they were. Yeah, and they were allowed to do the miracles that they did. Like in comparison, you know, Moses could split the sea and Elijah could split the rivers. But when you look at Revelation 11, the description of the two witnesses, you'll see, if you have any sort of wisdom and knowledge, that the only two people of the Bible that is describing is Moses and Elijah. They'll turn waters into blood. They'll bring plagues upon the, upon the land as often as they will. They'll shut up the heavens. Um, so it does not rain. That was Elijah. First ones was Moses. Elijah shut up the heavens. And he brought fire down. Fire proceeds from their mouths and devours their enemies. That was Elijah because he says, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and devour you. It wasn't the breathing fire. It was that they say, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume. And fire comes down and consumes their enemies. So there's no doubt that it's Moses and Elijah, but there's one unfulfilled prophecy of Moses that they didn't um, they didn't ask him what is his name. So to me, um God is actually really meaning that this is well this is going to happen on like you could call it the second coming of Moses the spiritual second coming of Moses like I said there won't be a, there won't be two old men of old coming down from the sky it doesn't say that um, because it's it's physically impossible you can't live physically well actually Moses died uh, you can't live physically for three and a half thousand years. It's impossible. So you must be in a spiritual body or a, or a heavenly body. Well, if they got given heavenly bodies when they died and raptured, and Elijah was raptured, if they were given heavenly bodies, they, they can't return to the earth anyway because the two witnesses die. And they can't be in some sort of spiritual body either. Well, you won't be able to see them. <laughs> they wouldn't interact with humans, and they just can't die because they're eternal beings. So the meaning of the two witnesses is two anointed human mortal beings will be given the two candlesticks, which were the two spirits of God that were given to Moses and Elijah. And that's it. And so, yeah, so I believe with, <coughs> when the two witnesses come, 
In fact, it could even be on their initial arrival to the people. And in them set of people, there's going to be 12 tribes of Israel. There, they someone's just going to say, if he, you know, if they're preaching and they said, God has sent me to you and all that, someone's going to say, what is his name? And then three and a half thousand years later, that prophecy is going to be fulfilled because it's nowhere in the Bible. Either God got it wrong, or this is an unfulfilled prophecy to be completed by the two witnesses which are coming, and one just turns out to be a spiritual Moses. So that's one thing, is that that's the way it's going to be, and he's going to answer them. And interestingly enough, when you look at the 12 tribes of Israel, I was something came in my head about the Union Jack flag, which is the Great Britain's flag. <clears throat> And someone was saying that the meaning behind it was union, like join together, Jack, mean it, and it's you know J A C, union. J well, the tribes of Israel, the his name was Jacob, and then it got changed to Israel. So it seems like the British are trying to make make it that make to say that they have like all the tribes of Jacob in Britain, I think. So this could well happen in Britain. Um, if not, where else would all the 12 tribes of Israel be at the same time? So that was just the next thing. Another thing concerning the two witnesses, concerning all the plagues that you've heard about, you know, God says to Moses in Exodus 34, now this was way after um, the exodus from Egypt and all the plagues and all the wonders and part in the Red Sea and everything else which was around Exodus 13, 14 <coughs> where it was all complete and then 34 which is obviously much far ahead he, t he says to Moses that he will do greater miracles so greater than part in the, the part of the Red Sea there when it was um, I think it was about 10 miles the width of where they crossed you know, greater than that, the, you know, is he going to part a bigger sea? Um, but he says, I'm going to do greater miracles with you. But he's like, say, he's speaking to the spiritual Moses. I remember before God commissioned him, Moses was an Egyptian murderer who didn't even know he was Jew and didn't even know his, he worshipped God and the God that you know chose him and brought him in amen and so um yeah it says he will do greater miracles even greater than what was done in egypt with you but the thing is that didn't happen either moses didn't um do any oh, sorry god didn't do any greater miracles with moses um and all all the people which you are among so this is making me believe that he's still talking about the two witnesses because when the spiritual, when the spirit was given to Moses by God comes again, I believe that's what he means is where you are going to be, that one of the two witnesses, this is the great miracles which all the people will see, it says, because it is a terrible thing that I will do with you. Like I said, this is God actually speaking very sort of um, specifically to Moses, and it didn't happen as such. And they died on the Mount Nebo, and all these all these things didn't come to pass. So I believe that God was looking at this from or giving him prophecy for the second coming of Moses, kind of thing. So. Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there because I haven't actually made a video specific to it. But, um, yeah, keep your eyes open. We're in the end of the age. We know we are. 144,000 will be here. Um, I, I would say around the same age as Jesus, around my age, you know what I mean? So, I'll be preaching about the end of the age. And, you know, <laughs> the last Pope is here.
Barack, Barack Obama, Satan incarnated is here. just to waiting on the Antichrist to be released but that is seal one that is the beginning actually of of the event so you know until that happens then and when that does happen like say in previous videos seal one I will be there in London to preach against that Antichrist when he takes his seat on King David's throne, which is an abomination in itself. You know, having a clone of Jesus Christ who's going to come claiming to be Jesus Christ. sit on the throne of King David which is the rightful throne as well so oh man these little add-ons are getting a common occurrence recently <laughs> another thing is I forgot to mention in the unfulfilled prophecy of Moses video is that his body has never been found and I find this a bit fishy because just by a bit of common sense really, a bit of curiosity, I mean it's not prophecy that, uh, well there might be prophecy concerning it, but when Moses died, the dragon, Satan, tried to destroy the body, I believe, but Michael, the angel, had to come down and contend with Satan over the body of Moses, see what I mean, it was like, well, then you think, what's the importance of it? Um, then the, it says the Lord himself came down and buried the body of Moses in a valley opposite Beth Peor, I believe it was. And it has not been found to this day. So it's in a tomb um, opposite Beth Peor, which can't be too far from the Mount of Nebo. Um, probably around that Jordan Valley which is just north of the Dead Sea um, but who knows the thing is it's never been found now think about this if the end of the age is about to close Jesus Christ is going to rule the world a thousand years and all his saints that believed him and saved and everything else are going to be with him for the thousand years and then a thousand years can be ended Satan tries it on again and then God burns the earth with fire and the dragons cast in the lake of fire where the beast and the Antichrist and the false prophet are and then the earth fled away from the presence of God and then there's great white throne judgment and then there's a new heaven and a new earth it's like what was the point and what was the importance of Moses' body um, and why hasn't it been found? And the only thing I can really think of is this, this is something to do with the end of the age and it's something to do with the two witnesses as we clarified one is like unto Moses and one will be like unto Elijah. In the things that they do, their works, because the spirit of God the candlestick will be given to them um, but from a curious point of view it's like what will that body maybe obviously the body is a physical mortal thing maybe there's something in the sepulchre maybe there's something in the tomb maybe there's like a key maybe there's a similarity physically with one of the two witnesses or something like that I mean it's got to be something of importance for Satan to try to destroy the body. And then it's got to be something important for Michael the angel to come and defend that body.
and for the Lord to bury himself and for the Lord through the Holy Spirit and through his angels probably has protected it until now it's got to be something important but there's the thing is this is the end of the age we're about to enter into the last seven years of humanity as mortals and then afterwards we'll be immortal and we'll live for a thousand years like I said but it just fishy as if something's about a body and something's about that too maybe I don't know but we'll only know until it's revealed and maybe it clarifies the two witnesses maybe they're physically the same I don't know height or maybe they have some sort of physical defect or something um, I don't know because Moses was sort of um, Moses was sort of uh, shit on basically by his own people he was kind of mocked and everyone was like what Moses is going to be our leader huh? Pfft, what made him you know everyone sort of disliked him and mocked him and didn't respect him kind of thing which I know how that feels you know <laughs> So, um, yeah, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. But, yeah, I believe it's linked to the two witnesses anyway. So, anyway, God bless for now. And um, have a great day. Have a good Shabbat tomorrow. I don't know when this video is going to go up, though. So, God bless you all anyway. Amen. Anyway, God bless you all anyway. I've been Pastor Prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. God bless you all. Amen.